Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you seven amazing Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks. Some are brand new One UI features and some are classic hidden gems you might have missed. So these tips will make your Galaxy phone feel smoother, smarter, and way more fun to use. So make sure to stick around till the end because I've saved one of the most powerful feature for the last. And before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support keeps this channel going. Seriously, without you guys, this channel is nowhere. So let's begin. So the first feature is how to set the side back button gesture icon on One UI 8. So as you can see, when I'm going ahead and swiping to the left on the screen, you'll see this icon here, which appears in the blue color. So One UI 8 lets you customize your back gesture visually. So instead of an invisible swipe area, you can now enable a subtle side back gesture icon that helps you know exactly where to swipe from. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So before you begin, you know, first go ahead and turn on settings, go ahead and scroll down, go to display, scroll down and find navigation bar. Here you want to go ahead and turn on the swipe gesture. So the navigation bar has disappeared. Next, you want to go ahead and open up the good lock app. In the good lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Navstar. Turn it on. And now in swipe gesture, you need to go ahead and scroll down and find this section here, customize side back gesture indicator. So here you can go ahead and change your colors, the background. As you can see, that's what it is. However, you can go ahead and change it to an icon as well. So go ahead and choose an icon here, some like a pizza icon, a back button icon, a cat icon, or you can go ahead and choose a photo from your gallery. So this makes your navigation easier for people who often miss the back swipe. So it's especially useful for large screen devices or edge cases when you're using one hand. It's a small touch, but adds a premium intuitive feel to your Samsung Galaxy device. The second feature is where you can have the smooth transition from AOD to lock screen. So One UI 8 has introduced a refined animation between the always on display and the lock screen. So the transition now feels buttery smooth, like the display wakes up in one seamless flow. So as you can see, you have a background here. However, the background for this image is black. However, when you go ahead and wake it up, you'll see that it then fills it up with a normal image. So this basically shows you a nice smooth transition from the AOD to lock screen. So let me show you how to turn this on. So for this, you wanna go ahead and open your settings, scroll down and go to lock screen and AOD. From here, turn on your always on display, tap on it. And here you wanna go ahead and show lock screen wallpaper. However, you wanna go ahead and turn on this feature called erase background. So this will show the main subject of the photo only. So it works best with photos that have people or animal at the main subject. So make sure to turn it on. And you wanna go ahead and configure this setting here when to show always. So now go back, now go to your gallery, go ahead and choose a wallpaper. So for example, this one here, I'll go ahead and set this, our lock screen wallpaper. Now I'll go ahead and press done. Now when I go ahead and lock it, you see that the background has changed black. You can see the subject. If I go ahead and wake the phone up, you see that the background then changes back to what it was. So this makes your phone look fluid and polished, almost like the iPhone level smoothness, giving your Galaxy that high-end flagship experience every time you tap the screen to wake it up. The third feature is where you have the iPhone style spatial wallpaper. So this is a new spatial wallpaper trend. It gives your home and lock screen a 3D parallax effect, just like the one you see on your iPhone. So the wallpaper subtly moves as you tilt your phone, Left or right, it adds a depth and a premium visual feel. So let me show you how to create this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you can do this on your lock screen and on your home screen as well. So in order to do this, we wanna go ahead and open up gallery, choose an image where you wanna set that as a wallpaper. So for example, this dog picture. However, here you need to go ahead and edit this dog picture. So we need one wallpaper where we only have the background and we have another image where we only have the dog. So here I'll go ahead and use Galaxy AI. I'll go ahead and erase this dog from this image. Then I'll tap on generate. 
And now I can go ahead and save this as a copy. Now in the other image, I wanna go ahead and select that dog only. Go ahead and save this as an image. So here I have two images, one of the dog itself and one of the background only. Now next, you wanna go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, tap on Wonderland module, then tap on create your own moving wallpaper. We'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign. We'll tap on gallery and we'll go ahead and choose that wallpaper. So first the background. Next, we'll tap on the plus sign here at the bottom right, tap on image. Go ahead and choose that image which we created. Go ahead and increase it. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on image settings for that dog. Go ahead and enable individual motion effect. Go ahead and play around with this X, Y, Z axis. And let's just preview it. So as you can see, it's already moving. When we tilt our phone, you can even go ahead and move the background as well. So select the background, then enable the motion effects for that. Preview it. So as you can see now, we have a fully spatial wallpaper. So now if you're happy with that, go ahead and tap on save here at the top right, press save. And now go ahead and set it as a wallpaper for our lock screen and home screen. Now we'll press home. So now when we go ahead and move our screen, you'll see that it's moving on the lock screen as well. It's moving as well. So your phone instantly feels more dynamic and modern. So it's an easy way to add personality without extra apps or themes. The fourth feature is where you can hide the gesture bar from home screen. So you can make your home screen navigation area more cleaner by hiding this bottom gesture bar completely. So for those of you who are using gesture swipe, you will see this long navigation bar where you basically can use it to do all your controls for your home screen. However, with good lock module or the app, you can basically hide it completely. So this basically gives you a more cleaner look to your home screen. So let me show you how to do this. So in order to hide this navigation bar, you wanna go ahead and open up the good lock app. In the good lock app, scroll down, find Navstar, turn the feature on and make sure you're on swipe gesture. Now here you wanna go ahead and find enable extra gesture settings. So turning this option will enable the swipe from bottom gesture and gesture hint settings in the navigation bar settings. So we'll turn this feature on. Now you wanna go ahead and open up your settings. Scroll down, find display. Scroll down, find navigation bar. Make sure you're on swipe gesture, then tap on more options. Scroll down and you'll find this new option called gesture hint. So this will show you where to swipe up for your navigation gesture. So you can also swipe left or right across the hints to switch between apps. So this is your gesture hint. So go ahead and turn this feature off. So now once I turn it off, you'll see that it has now disappeared. So now there's no more bar showing here at the bottom. So this gives you extra screen space and a minimalistic look, especially great if you like a clean, distraction-free home screen. The fifth feature is where you can blur sensitive information on screenshots. So the new One UI 8 privacy tool lets you auto blur sensitive information like contact names, emails, numbers before sharing that screenshot. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up gallery. Here I have a council tax bill. So now as you can see, you have your name here, you have some details on the right hand side, and you have some information about payment. Now let's say I wanna share this, however, I don't wanna share the name and the address. So to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on share. And then from here, I'll find privacy protection. Now to, I'll go ahead and tap on privacy protection. This will now scan your document. So it'll analyze your document and will blur out any information it feels it needs to be protected. So as you can see, it has auto blurred the name. However, it's forgotten the address. So you can go ahead and tap on that and this will blur out the address as well. You can go ahead and tap on anything on the document and you can blur out certain things. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on the bottom here to choose your blur style. Once you're happy, you can go ahead and tap on save to save it, or you can go ahead and share this to anyone you like. For those of you who are confused and trying to find out where this feature is, this feature is a standalone feature, which is only available to people who download the APK. I've left a link in the description down below, so you can go ahead and download the link for this privacy protection APK. Once you download it, you can go ahead and install it and then use it how I used it. So you need to go ahead and share that screenshot. 
and then find that privacy protection app and apply it to your screenshot. So this is perfect for sharing screenshots safely on social media or in group chats. It keeps your personal info protected in one tab. The sixth feature is where you can access your favorite GoodLock module using tape cassette widget. So the GoodLock app introduces the tape cassette widget. So this gives you quick access to panels for your most used GoodLock module. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on widgets. We'll go ahead and open up the GoodLock widget scroll down and then you want to go ahead and find this tape cassette widget. So tap on this and we'll go ahead and add it. Now here, before we add it, you want to go ahead and choose your favorite modules to be added over here, right here. So go ahead and choose your modules. So there's four you can choose from. So as you can see, we've selected four. Now we can press save and then we can go ahead and enlarge this. So these are all the ones that we can use. So now this gives you direct access to those modules. So if you want the Wonderland module, you can go ahead and tap on this. This will open up Wonderland. So if you want the Home Up, this will open up the Home Up module. If you want the Nice Shot, this will open the Nice Shot. And this opens up the Edge Lighting Plus. So this saves time by giving you instant access to customization tools without digging through the Good Lock app every time. The seventh feature is where you can open three apps with multi-window. So multi-window has evolved. You can now open three apps or four apps at once, one in split screen mode and another in pop-up mode, or maybe all of them in pop-up mode. So as you can see, I've got three apps open here. I can go ahead and tap that one button and this will open up all of these three apps in one go. So I have Amazon open here. I've got internet browser here and I've got gallery open. I can go ahead and multitask as ever I want. If I want to work on the Samsung internet browser, I can go ahead and work on that. If I want to work on Amazon shopping, I can go and work on that. And if I want to look at some pictures, I can go ahead and look at my pictures. So let me show you how to do this. So to open them in multi-window mode, you want to go ahead and just open the apps which you want to do it. So for example, I've got all these apps open here in the background. So let's just say, for example, this internet, Amazon and gallery. So first I'll start off with the internet browser, tap on internet here, open in pop-up mode. So this will now open in pop-up mode. I'll just go ahead and make it a bit smaller, put it to the side. Next, I'll go ahead and open my task manager. Go ahead and open now Amazon Shopping. Select Amazon Shopping at the top, open in pop-up mode. Next, I'll go ahead and select the gallery, tap on gallery and then open in pop-up view. So now, as you can see, I've got three apps which have opened in pop-up view. I can go ahead and minimize this by pressing the minus icon here and all of these three apps have minimized. I can go ahead and open all of them together. As you can see, I can work on them, whichever I like. I can even change, make it into full screen or work with them in split screen mode. So this is the ultimate multitasking setup. So you can browse YouTube, reply to message and take notes all at the same time. And that's it. Seven Samsung Galaxy features you absolutely need to try in One UI 8. Some of these are brand new, Others are hidden gems, but together they make your phone feel faster, cleaner, and more personal. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment about your favorite feature, and subscribe for more Samsung tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.